Hi, my beautiful Cancers, and welcome to our Canna Priestess. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you. Oh, so we are going to do, I have, um, somebody said I should start sharing the tarot decks and showing the cards. Now with the cards, I always try to show the cards, but um, if you like ever like read tarot, like you know, like you just zone out, you just go into your own little world. So sometimes I obviously forget, but I'm gonna try to remind myself as much as possible. So I'm gonna start off with the Soul's Journey Oracle deck. Um, this is actually one of the first Oracle decks I've ever gotten and I'm obsessed with it. It was when I first started my channel. I picked like seven decks, I think, and this was one of them. So I've had it for many, many years. So Cancer, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if you are new and you haven't yet subscribed and you enjoy my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Every single month I choose one of the subscribers to win a free personal reading. And we have giveaways all, all the time on Instagram as well as more content. We have Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Now Pride came in the reverse here. Pride is holding you back. You, you, your pride is holding you back from experiencing some sort of deep deepening in a connection, in a relationship, in a friendship. Um, let go of this. Allow people to see the truth of who it is that you are, right? I feel also there's this energy of like, you know the difference between somebody that is a friend and a best friend. The best friend, most likely, it's that you don't feel the need to pretend at all. You can be 100% fully yourself and you can just open up with them. So for some of you guys, it's like maybe you need to take a look at your friendships or your relationship. Are you able to be your true depth? Um, what are the best friendships that you've had? How does your current friendships look compared to that friendship? What is the best relationship you have? What does your current relationship look like compared to that relationship? So this is about deepening bonds that you have and really aligning yourself with the right people in your life, being okay with letting go of certain people that, you know, may not serve you, you know, in the highest form. Who pushes you to succeed? Who do you have as a friend that inspires you? Who do you know in your life that, you know, makes you want to be more? Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. I'm learning to accept things that I cannot change. So, Some of you, it's like you gotta let your pride die, right? But for others of you, this is about releasing the need to control things, releasing the need to control a situation, releasing the need to control an outcome. When you truly start living, it is honestly because you give up the need of, I want this by this time, and if it doesn't happen like this, then my life sucks. And you go into the flow of life. You realize that life is a roller coaster. It's gonna take you up and down. And the only thing that is certain is that life is filled with constant changes and that life is filled with constant up and downs, right? So I feel there's this strong energy of you just kind of coming into this energy where you're like, you know what? This is my life and I'm gonna make the most of it. And if something isn't meant for me, then it's not gonna be meant for me, right? But this could also be accepting yourself, but also this could be accepting others, accepting others for who it is that they truly are, right? Not judging anybody else. But for a lot of you, I don't really feel like you are judging other people. I feel like you guys are so empathic and intuitive that you really just don't, you don't like have it within you to do that, right? I feel like cancers are so soft and sweet. You know, I definitely know some cancers who definitely gossip, but I don't like to place a certain trait on one zodiac sign. You're not just your sun sign, babe. You are ever. You are more than that. You were twelve signs, okay? You're twelve different placements, um, and I feel like for some of you, it's like you don't feel accepted in a certain social group, right? For others of you, it's like if you don't feel accepted, realizing the fact that if you don't feel accepted, it's because you're not meant to, right? If somebody doesn't call you back. They don't like you the same way you like them, so why are you gonna give them your energy? Why are you gonna give them your time? If you don't feel accepted into a certain friend group, why would you even wanna be with that friend group? Because it's just gonna make you feel weird. It's gonna make you feel uncomfortable. So just don't bother because they're not the right ones for you. Maybe it's gonna take a very long time, but at the end of the day, your soul tribe is one in a million. So yeah, of course it's gonna take good time to find them, but when you do find them, they'll be there for life, babe. They'll be there for life. So for some of you guys, I feel like there could be this energy where you feel like you're being judged in your friend group here. Um, there's a lack of honesty, a lack of truth, a lack of clarity. If you can sit there and talk about your crap with the people that you're friends with, you can guarantee that they're talking a lot of crap about you behind your back. 
because some people just love that, right? Some people, some of you I'm hearing Gemini, there's a Gemini that you know that, that talks a lot of stuff behind your back and you may think this person's your best friend, but they're not. Um, I'm not sure why, why, but I'm like specifically literally seeing the words Gemini. Um, and for others of you, this could be a Capricorn. Um, and they have no reason not to like you. You like stood up for yourself or they did something very shady. And instead of like accepting the fact that they did that, they're kind of blaming you. Success, I know that there is no greater goal than to love, right? It's like, regardless of how people are treating you, you're always meant, like you're meant to treat them with the utmost kindness and wish the best on them. Um, because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna come back to you. So know that around this time, your words are very important. The things that you're saying, um, the things that you're putting out there, the intentions, you're going to attract everything that you're saying right now. So be very careful with the words that you use. All right, Cancer. Um, I see judgment. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull it. So month of November, most likely you're going to see truths about people coming out into the light. You're going to make decisions that are going to change your life. Decisions that you've been wanting to make for a very long time. You're finally going to have the confidence. There could be a Scorpio of significance in your life who ends up um, helping you to make this judgment call. You could be making a judgment call about a Scorpio in your life. Um, Cancers and Scorpios get along very well, right? So you probably have a couple of Scorpios in your life and you probably either love or hate them. Um, so it says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So I think like with this, it's like, again, about just not judging and being completely open because at the end of the day, regardless of what people say and what people post on social media, you never know what anybody is going through. So to always be nice and kind, um, and to treat people the way that you want to be treated because, you know, you know, when I realized that and I, um, at one point in my life, I realized that and I was always so nice to people. I've always been pretty nice, to be honest. But at one point in my life, I realized that because when I was younger, I, I wouldn't say I was the nicest, you know. Um, but I feel like, wait, well, where was I going with this? What was I going to say? Okay, yeah, so there was one person that was being so rude to me for no reason. And I just looked at her and I don't remember exactly what I said, but... I, instead of like reacting, which the way she was, there's no way that any human would have not reacted in a negative way. But I don't know what I said, but I just remember I touched her shoulder. I looked her in the eye and I said something like, just, I don't even remember what it was. I have no idea, but I just said it in the nicest, sweetest voice I ever could. And she literally broke down crying and started apologizing to me and explaining her whole entire life story to me and why she was acting the way she was and explaining how she knew that even though she was acting this way, it had nothing to do with me. She shouldn't have taken it out on me. Even with clients, I've had that happen. Like people being so rude about timing or just random things. Um, and then they end up apologizing because I end up being the bigger person and then it makes them sit and reflect on themselves, right? So some of you guys, you're gonna be doing that or you're gonna have somebody of significance in your life come in and just through talking to them, it's gonna help you to reflect and understand yourself and how um, maybe you could have acted better in certain situations. Okay. I'm like staring at this deck, so I guess it's for you guys. So, okay, I almost forgot again. Um, after tarot after tarot so i have a personal reading in a couple of minutes so i'm gonna make this short um but again if you like my content and you're a cancer make sure that you comment and um hit that like button because for my lower views i'm only gonna start doing minimal vi uh, videos from now um, moving forward okay i had a like vision last night of how to do the spread so let's see. Um, oh, I also forgot when I was doing your pre your pre shuffle your meditation. The crystal that came out for you guys was selenite. Um, so I have selenite on my shop, but you're more than welcome to get it anywhere. Um, if you are interested, you can follow my Instagram for my crystals because I do have sales, but you can only really access them on Instagram. Okay, you're doubting yourself. Why are you doubting yourself? You have no idea. Oh, okay, you're trapped. You're trapped. You're, you're stuck in this. Oh, I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy, Cancer. It's like, um, 
You're not trusting your intuition. Messages are not coming through. We start off with the high priestess here. Okay, and there's messages that are in reverse here because they're not coming through. You're not able to see the messages that the universe is trying to send you, meaning you most likely have a hard time trusting your intuition. You probably second guess yourself a lot and you have to practice to build that trust within your intuition so you can start seeing the messages because you actually have the power to literally, like this is like witch energy and I love this for you. This is like you actually at your highest self have the power to literally trust your intuition and allow your intuition to give you the best life luxuries that you've ever wanted. But you're gonna have to listen to what your intuition says and do it in the exact moment of death that you hear it so baby steps right start small start trying to remind yourself of that every single day and eventually you'll become best friends with your intuition you'll become best friends with that gut um we have the six of pentacles next okay so the way that these cards are i'm not even going to grab these other ones um Maybe I'll grab them in a bit, but I'll grab these three because these are under other ones. So we have the Devil, the Two of Swords. Okay, I can actually grab them now. Magicians in the reverse. Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Seven of Wands, upright. King of Cups. Some of you, your relation, the person that you're in a relationship with is making you miserable. Um, some of you, you feel like you don't have much to count on. Um, like there's not many people to count on. There's just gonna be a lot of messages. I'm just gonna start throwing them out there, okay? Um, yeah, Two of Swords, again, shows me here. You're having a hard time trusting your intuition. There's a lack of balance in your life. You don't feel as though you have your life in control. So you definitely had a vision where you're meant to be at this point in your life and you're not there right now. And because of that, it's like you feel stalled, you feel confused. You feel like what some of you I'm even hearing, like, what is the point, right? With the magician in reverse, it's like you're not tapped into your full power. You're not tapped into your full potential. You don't even realize your full potential yet. Um, with the ace of cups in the reverse, there's a lack of self-love. There's definitely a strong need for you to develop a stronger self-care routine for you to put yourself first, for you to start to fall in love with yourself. Like, are you comfortable to go out to a restaurant and eat by yourself? If not, then you got to keep working until you get to that point where you're comfortable enough to do anything by yourself. When you love yourself that way, you attract everything that you, that you truly want because you become attractive enough to attract those things, right? Um... When, when it comes to your relationship, I feel like things may seem a little bit stagnant. Um, may, you need to spice things up, right? You need to start going on date nights. I just feel like, you know, you guys are cancer, so you easily are able to kind of like get into a relationship and become a married couple very quickly. But there's a strong need to spice things up, to do different things, to incorporate um, different people into your relationship. Um, so like, this doesn't mean like, opening up your your relationship but for some of you it may be that where you're going to invite other people to be intimate with but for the majority of you it's like finding other friends that are coupled or finding other friends in general and having dinner parties or things like that right trying to make the most of it because i feel like spicing up your social life will spice up your relationship it's like absence makes the heart grow fond so regardless of what's going on with um everything that's happening right now in the world try to figure out some way that you can create you know distance and separation especially if you're living with your person because for some of you guys through the past couple of years kind of feeling stuck with one another or like completely just stuck in the house it's definitely put a strain on your relationship and some of you you're not aware of this some of you this is how your partner feels as though to be honest this sucks but i honestly hear like for some of you it feels like someone's falling out of love with you and maybe you've noticed maybe you've noticed that they've changed maybe you've noticed that there's things that are a little bit different maybe they're not doing things that they once used to do but i kind of feel like you may be in a relationship out of routine or possibly even out of financial dependence rather than out of actual love and the desire to wake up every single day and be like damn this is the one i want to be with i'm so glad to have you next to me every single day like, do you guys peck on the cheek or every time you kiss, is it passionate? Is it lustful, right? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. So this is like one of the biggest overall energies. And it's like, there's some healing that needs to be done here. Some of you, you feel like you're at a loss. Some of you, you feel a little bit hurt. There could have been, I feel like there's just, it's like a need to like, go in the shower and like just rinse off all the crap, rinse it all away, right? Like literally going in the shower on the full moon, it's a full moon today. So I'm actually going to post this video today. So hopefully you see it. Well, you'll, hopefully you see it today and you'll freaking go in the bath and do this because I literally see somebody having a shower and just, you know, literally saying all the things like I release 
toxicity, you know, every single thing that's negative that you want to release, like just having the water pour all over you. I would say soap first and then have the water like rinse off all the soap. And it's like um, a ritual of you releasing things, right? Um, if you see this too late, then the next full moon, um, then the full moon in um, during, sorry, Capricorn season is going to be for you guys. So that is going to be very important for you um, to really make sure that you create some sort of ritual for that here. Because with the devil card as well, it's like you just feel there's this energy of just feeling chained, right? Before I knew what my purpose was, that's how I felt. I always felt like, where was I going with my life? What was I doing with my life? I was living for, you know, I was living every day at a time, but I really didn't really think about my future because I just wasn't in the mindset to be thinking about, oh, a five-year plan or I'm going to become this or I'm going to become that, right? It's like, I honestly just feel this level of drain. This could be the person that you're with that's completely draining you. Like, like I said, you need to surround yourself with people that are inspiring, but it kind of seems like for the majority of you guys that are watching this right now, there's not much in your life that's giving you light. There's not much in your life that's giving you that spark, that spark to move forward. And maybe you're working on it, but it's like, even if you're working on something that's gonna make you feel that way, you have to have, you have to incorporate things in the current moment that are also gonna make you feel just as strong that way, okay? So I would say it seems like there's a lot of work that you guys need to do. If you're not seeing some sort of life coach, I offer life coaching, um, limited though. So I offer it, but, there are thousands of amazing life coaches out there. So if you're not in life coaching or maybe even therapy, I would recommend it. If this is how you're feeling, even a tarot reading around this time would be highly recommended because it's like, honestly, some of you guys, you just need to hear the right thing. Some of you just need clarity. You just need that conversation with the right person to be able to like, you know, slowly feel like, okay, I can see my path ahead. But this definitely feels like somebody that's lost and as somebody that's disconnected from their selves, from their true purpose, um, maybe from the ability to truly love, to truly give love and to truly receive love here. But it's like, even though you feel that, you're blinded from seeing a path forward. You're blinding from seeing how to get out there. So you may just be sitting there like waiting, you know, letting the days pass, waiting for things to change, waiting for things to get better. I know this retrograde was supposed to affect you guys a lot, Cancer. So maybe it's only been like throughout the retrograde that you've been feeling this. And maybe in the next seven days, you're going to start to, you know, pull out of it. But always retrograde means whatever's happening, analyze it. Why is this happening? Why do you feel like this? Because probably you've been feeling this the whole time it's just been so numbed down and you've only it's only now come to the forefront during the retrograde right so i feel like some of you this could even be taking a class if you don't work out this means you need to start working out i feel like some sort of intense fitness where you're really sweating like sweating and it's like 30 minutes a day minimum i really feel like you need to just get your body moving get your adrenaline get those endorphins running in order for you to you know, just sweat out this energy because some of you guys are definitely like binge watching Netflix, you're laying around, you're feeling lazy, you're feeling depressed. I haven't had a reading like this in such a long time, but it's like, this definitely means like you're in a rut and you have to like figure out how to get out of it. It's not just going to, because if you just wait for it to like die down, it's just going to come back around 10 times stronger in a couple of months. Right? So yeah. And that's why, like I was even saying, like therapy or life coaching, right? Even tarot, because it's like, I feel like for a lot of you, this is like subconscious. This is things that you're not even aware of. And it may even be just that you're not aware because again, the messages are not coming towards you. This could be like, when you have so many thoughts, you don't even know what to think, right? You don't, you can't even focus on one of them because there's so many things. And maybe this is even, um, you've been delaying things, you've been pushing things back, right? Oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And now you have so many things to do that you can't even get started because you're just freaking overwhelmed. Always do the, fir the hardest thing first in the morning because once you do that, everything else seems a lot easier, right? Some of you guys, you need to make sure that you're going to bed. Even if you don't have a schedule right now, make sure you're going to bed, waking up around the same time because that's gonna be very important for you as well. This was not what I was expecting. I don't think I've ever had a reading like this, but I'm telling you guys, like, it's not a good feeling. If you're watching this, you probably just don't feel the best. And I don't think you have anybody to talk to about this, to be honest. Remember I was talking about those friends that you could be your full self with? Like, do you have one of those? Because for some of you, I don't think that you do. And I think that that's why it's so hard is because you're going through all of this 
and you don't have the person to tell. And sometimes all you have to do is talk. Sometimes all you have to do is just say everything. And that's why, again, I recommend it because when you have a professional, you don't have to worry about your friends talking about it behind your back or people judging you, right? That's not what they're here for. They're here to fully listen to you and understand you and help you point out the things that you're not able to see. So I feel like for a lot of you, you may need to rewatch this again. Um, I'm hearing seven days. So for some of you, seven days from now, you may need to rewatch this again, or you may need to rewatch it now. But, um, and if you're watching too many tarot readings, it's time to stop because they are not helping you right now. They really aren't. Um, don't look for answers related to love through tarot right now. That's not the right thing to do. I think that right now, when your intuition is out of whack the way that this is, watching these kind of readings is not going to help. It's just going to keep you in this spiral. So for you right now, I truly would recommend just taking a break, gaining back that power within your own intuition. Because if you don't have that intuitive nudge, how are you going to, under, how are you going to know what message is for you, what message isn't, right? So you're just going to think they're all for you and then you're going to be thinking this and then five minutes in, you're going to be thinking that and then you're going to be going back to this. Take a time out. Take a time out. Okay, guys, so that is what I have for you. Um, everything that you need is in the description box below. Again, this, the crystal was selenite, but with this strong energy, I would recommend black tourmaline and um, amethyst as well for you guys, especially just putting amethyst under your pillow, meditating with amethyst as much as you can, and clear quartz, amethyst and clear quartz to build that intuition, okay? Strengthen that intuition. Um, all right, guys, I love you so much, and I wish you all of the best. Take care.